Welcome to the epic saga of one of the most remarkable civilizations in human history. The Egyptian Empire, a beacon of ancient culture, science, and power, stands as a testament to human ingenuity and ambition. From the majestic pyramids of Giza to the enigmatic Sphinx, the story of the pharaohs is one of grandeur, mystery, and transformation. Join us as we journey through time to uncover the rise and fall of this legendary empire. In the heart of northeastern Africa, along the fertile banks of the Nile River, the Egyptian civilization was born around 3100 BCE. This river, the lifeblood of Egypt, brought fertile soil and sustenance, allowing early Egyptians to build thriving communities. In the annals of ancient history, the figure of Narmer stands as a pivotal force in the formation of one of the world's earliest and most renowned civilizations. Around 3100 BCE, Narmer, often regarded as the first pharaoh of Egypt, embarked on a monumental quest to unify the disparate regions of Upper and Lower Egypt. This historic unification was not merely a political maneuver, but a profound cultural and administrative achievement that laid the foundation for the emergence of a cohesive and powerful kingdom. Narmer's success in bringing these two regions together marked the inception of a dynastic era that would endure for centuries, fostering advancements in art, architecture, governance, and society. Under Narmer's reign, the seeds were sown for the rich and enduring legacy of ancient Egypt, a civilization that would influence and captivate the world for millennia to come. The period known as the Old Kingdom, which lasted from 2686 to 2181 BCE, is often heralded as the Age of the Pyramids. This era represents a pinnacle in ancient Egyptian civilization, characterized by remarkable advancements in architecture, art, and statecraft. It was during this epoch that pharaohs such as Khufu and Snefru undertook the ambitious projects that would etch their names into the annals of history. These rulers spearheaded the construction of some of Egypt's most enduring and iconic monuments, with the Great Pyramid of Giza standing as a testament to their ingenuity and the impressive organizational prowess of their administrations. Under the guidance of these visionary leaders, the architectural achievements of the Old Kingdom not only showcased the Egyptians' mastery over engineering and construction techniques, but also reflected the society's deep spiritual and religious beliefs. The grandeur and scale of the pyramids built during this time, including those at Giza, continue to inspire awe and admiration, symbolizing the enduring legacy of ancient Egypt's Age of the Pyramids. As the Old Kingdom declined, the Middle Kingdom emerged, 2055-1650 BCE, bringing a new era of stability and prosperity. Pharaohs like Mentuhotep II and Senesret III expanded Egypt's borders and revitalized its economy. The New Kingdom, 1550-1070 BCE, was Egypt's golden age, marked by military conquests and monumental architecture. Pharaohs such as Hatshepsut, Akhenaten, and Ramses II presided over a flourishing empire. Hatshepsut, one of Egypt's most successful female pharaohs, ruled as a co-regent with her stepson Thutmose III. Her reign is celebrated for its extensive building projects and peaceful trade. Akhenaten's reign marked a radical departure from traditional Egyptian polytheism. He introduced the worship of Aten, the sun disk, leading to a brief but profound religious transformation. Tutankhamun, the boy king who ascended the throne at a young age, is perhaps the most famous pharaoh due to the discovery of his nearly intact tomb in 1922. His reign, though short, offered insights into the opulence of Egyptian royal life. Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, reigned for 66 years and was a prolific builder. His monuments, including the temples at Abu Simbel, are symbols of his power and legacy. Despite its earlier glory, the new kingdom eventually faced internal strife and external pressures. The empire's power waned as invasions by the sea peoples and internal dissent weakened its structure. The Third Intermediate Period, spanning from 1070 to 664 BCE, was a tumultuous era marked by division and fragmentation within the once unified Kingdom of Egypt. This period witnessed the decline of centralized power, leading to a fractured political landscape where authority was dispersed among various local dynasties and regional rulers. The weakened state of the kingdom made it vulnerable to incursions and influences from external forces. 
Among these were the Libyans and Nubians, who not only invaded, but also established their own lines of rulers within Egypt. These foreign powers, alongside competing native Egyptian factions, contributed to a complex and often chaotic political environment. Despite the challenges and instability, this era also saw cultural exchanges and interactions that would influence the subsequent course of Egyptian history. The Third Intermediate Period, therefore, stands as a significant chapter in Egypt's long and storied past, highlighting the resilience and adaptability of its people in the face of internal strife and external pressures. During the late period, 664-332 BCE, Egypt saw a resurgence of native rule, but also fell under the influence of foreign powers like the Assyrians and Persians. This era marked the beginning of Egypt's gradual decline. In 332 BCE, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt, ending the Persian rule, and marking the beginning of the Hellenistic period. Alexandria, founded by Alexander, became a major center of Greek culture and learning. The Ptolemaic dynasty, established by Ptolemy Ur Soter, a trusted general of Alexander the Great, ushered in a new era of Hellenistic rule over Egypt, beginning in 305 BCE and lasting until the Roman conquest in 30 BCE. This dynasty, which seamlessly blended Greek and Egyptian cultures, left an indelible mark on the history of the region. The most renowned figure of the Ptolemaic line was Cleopatra VII, a ruler whose intelligence, political acumen, and personal charisma have captivated the imagination of historians and the public alike. Cleopatra's strategic alliances and famed romantic relationships with powerful Roman leaders, such as Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, played a crucial role in her efforts to preserve her kingdom's sovereignty and influence amidst the expanding power of Rome. Her life and reign, filled with drama, intrigue, and tragedy, have ensured her place as one of the most legendary and enigmatic figures in ancient history, symbolizing the enduring legacy of the Ptolemaic dynasty in the rich tapestry of Egypt's past. In 30 BCE, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire following the defeat of Cleopatra and Mark Antony. The Romans absorbed Egyptian culture, but ruled with a different political structure. Egypt continued to be a significant part of the Byzantine Empire after the division of the Roman Empire. Christianity began to take root, leading to the transformation of Egyptian religious and cultural life. In 641 CE, the course of Egyptian history took a significant turn with the conquest by Muslim armies under the leadership of Amr ibn al-As. This pivotal event marked the beginning of Islamic rule in Egypt, ushering in profound changes that would shape the region's cultural, religious, and linguistic landscape. The establishment of Islamic governance introduced the spread of Islam as the dominant faith, fundamentally altering the spiritual and societal fabric of Egypt. Alongside this religious transformation, the Arabic language began to supplant previous languages, becoming the lingua franca and a unifying element across diverse communities. This era saw the flourishing of Islamic art, architecture, and scholarship, as Egypt became an integral part of the wider Islamic world. The new rulers integrated Egypt into the growing Muslim empire, establishing Cairo as a major center of learning, commerce, and culture. This period of Islamic rule not only brought about significant administrative and structural changes, but also laid the foundation for Egypt's enduring Islamic heritage, which continues to influence its identity to this day. The Ottoman Empire ruled Egypt from 1517 to 1798. The Ottomans introduced administrative reforms and integrated Egypt into a larger empire, though local leaders often exercised significant autonomy. Egypt's modern history saw the decline of Ottoman control, the rise of nationalist movements, and eventual independence in the 20th century. Today, Egypt stands as a modern nation with deep historical roots. The legacy of the pharaohs endures through their monumental achievements, their influence on art and architecture, and their contributions to human civilization. The story of Egypt's rise and fall remains an enduring source of fascination and inspiration. Thanks for watching.